Hey, how you doing, Rich? How you doing? Good. What's up, brother man? How's it going? Uh, it's been going good. We haven't had a podcast in a while. Um, sorry if I'm looking up. I uh, since last time I've been um, doing that thing where you can extend your PC display. Uh, how many PC monitors do you have? Me, just one. The ultra wide like 34 oh. inch so i have my laptop and uh i can uh hook it up to my tv which i've done before mm -hmm. but um and i forgot about but it's got a i unlocked the ability to to use the screen at 120 frames and since then i've kind of just been using it as a second screen which is cool which is why i'm looking up because i have kind of everything up there um but uh it's 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 really 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 rad i feel very very powerful um <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is what the console players have been missing out on but i i it's 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 here it's 120 and i legit can't tell the difference between that and 60. <laughs> yeah he's joined the pc master race y'all yeah it's just like it's it's a number to me it's nothing but a number yeah uh, but yeah uh, <laughs> yeah but I've been uh, pretty busy with a whole bunch of stuff. I was organizing a whole bunch of things um, since the last time. Uh, let's see. I got a desk. I got an outdoor table. You know those little fold-up tables? Mm -hmm. And that is my desk now. I got rid of the old little glass desk I had that was an actual official desk. And I just have uh, an outdoor table and I put that in my room. It has enough surface area for everything. Yeah, that's kind of what I use, just a, a table, but it's nice. It looks like a desk. People are impressed when they see it, but I'm like, it's just yes. a table. <laughs> so, um, yeah, exactly. Like, it's, I'm, I'm right there with you, and it's, I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. It was only $40 compared to the desk, which was $160. Damn. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, it had wheels, so I guess that was cool, but, like, it was limited. Yeah, but you got like a linoleum floor, right? Or something like that? I got a uh, tile. Tile. Yeah, there you go. So you can roll it around a little bit. That would be cool. Yeah, but it's... it's uh, Here's the thing, dude. Like, desks are cool until you run out of space and then you're just like, well, we got to do something. We can either have less stuff or we can we can have more, more surface area. And I decided to go with more surface area. Yeah, I've seen other right. people set up where they have like cool desks and they've got all these cabinets and stuff. I'm like, hell no. I'm going to keep it super simple and easy. Just get a table. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's uh yeah, it's it's cool like I got my I got my knife here for protection. So Absolutely. that's right there. I have my USB type C cable uh which is great because uh you know, when I bought this Sony phone, Sony decided to just not opt in for the 3.5 millimeter jack, so Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I can't charge my phone and listen to music at the same time. Feels bad. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got an Xbox Series X controller, which I'm actually probably going to sell by the end of the week. Um, And I got this microphone here. And it, it can all fit on one desk now. That's, hey, you're not feeling the Series X controller no more? Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I actually was able to get a, uh, um, a pre-order. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for the system. So you. No, gonna... oh, I mean, not, not a, technically. It's out. So I was able to get a system. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's uh, that's cool. Um, give me a second. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I I got the the Xbox Series X. Uh, I'm gonna go pick it up on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's fine. The only thing is that I don't need two controllers. Really? You don't like having a backup controller? No. Why would I need a backup controller? Well, I mean, well, then again, I don't know. You might need to get that, like, rechargeable thing, because it's like, it takes batteries, right? It does take batteries here. It came with two. Good on Microsoft for giving two two batteries, though. Like, shout out to you guys, because um, you could have easily not have given any battery. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, see? Boom. Look at that. The oh, power Duracell. of the Xbox Hell yeah. Series X right there. Yeah, not only is it Duracell, it's also special Duracell. It's uh like extra long life Duracell? Yeah, and it's also not for retail sales, so you can't oh, get sweet. these at regular stores. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best these are kind. very unique. Um okay. Uh but uh I also got these um Bluetooth little headphones. Have you gotten these before? 
No, but everyone has those, like the AirPod type things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're kind of cool. Uh, if I go camping at GameStop later this week, I might take these with me. Um, you know, real MVPs right there. Mm, so how many people did you have to kill to get your spot to reserve an Xbox Series X? Absolutely none. I'll, I'll let you know that my kill-death ratio is zero right now. But... Uh, I haven't died and I haven't killed anyone, so it's zero. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> um, but I, uh, my friend did call me at four in the morning to wake me up because they went, <laughs> they went live like around six a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, so around six a.m. your time. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were live for a while because so the way Best Buy was doing it. Um, they had a uh, man, dude. I can actually put my arms down like this too. This is cool. Oh yeah, let's go to your mm-hmm. TED talks. Get comfortable. Yeah, let me get yeah, let me get comfortable right here. God, I'm just missing some lasagna. Okay, um, I've been craving lasagna, dude. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. Uh, so we got um, got up at four in the morning. By the time I got up, all the PS5s were sold out. But Best Buy was doing this thing where they were um. Where they, you had to make an account to check out, and then not only did you have to make an account to check out, but then you also had to verify your account by email right after, right before or after you put in your payment information. So they had a, a two-step process for the most part. Oh, to get rid of the bots and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But it was cool, except for the fact that they kind of like the when you click add to cart, they say, "Hey, by the way, this isn't reserved until your payment is fully made. So make sure you do that as fast as possible." Do it fast. <laughs> an actual, yeah, an actual note right there. I was just like, "Oh, okay. I guess there's an invisible timer here." Yeah, you better hurry your ass up, or we're gonna give it to the next person. Yeah, so I'm gonna go pick that up on Saturday if it's there. I don't know. They might do an Amazon and just be like, "It will it'll arrive before the end of the year." Um. But uh, it's uh, it's cool. Uh, what I can say about this, the Xbox Series X controller, which I've been playing with my uh, computer, which I don't know why I didn't start using this earlier, dude, for PC gaming. It's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it works so flawlessly with, like, any game, whether it's a Steam uh, Battle.net or an Epic game. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it works. It just works so well across the board. Not only does it work so well, but it's got the companion app on the computer and what it allows you to do it allows you to do stuff like fix the dead zones fix the the um the uh how sensitive the sticks are Mm -hmm. uh one thing i like is that the keyboard is i don't know how the ps5 uh d-pad is but is it mechanical or is it membrane uh i think is what you would call mechanical right is it clicky yeah it's a little clicky Okay, then, yeah, main mechanical. Because the PS4 one was not mechanical. The PS4 one was definitely main brain-ish. Membrane? Oh. Yeah, where it was just, like, sticky. Yeah, it's probably more... It's, yeah, it's probably sticky then. Probably uh, membrane so thi- then. So, like this, the, the cool thing is that literally every button... Is its own one? It's like... Yeah, and it's it feels like, you know... It feels really just good. Like, it feels really, really good. Like, I don't know how to describe it other than, like, it's, like, it, the cl- it, I like that that you get a click. I like, I tried playing a DOA, and um, I felt like my inputs were a little bit better because of it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you were to do a quarter circle, it's so, like, it's so yeah. simple. You get a full click all the way. It's not like where sometimes you're playing on a, con- on a you you're playing see, DOA. Like, if you move one of these, they all move with it. They're not, yeah, like, see, separate. Yeah, see, and that's the, the 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 Xbox controller is each one in all eight directions. It's its own button. Nice. Yeah, so that's one thing I like about that a lot, and and it looks like Xbox knew about it because when they were, um, if you go to the website and you look at it, it even says, "Oh, so it's easier for you to, to do your combos." Yeah, it's what we need. That's what people love. The the other thing I really like about the controller when you at least when you're playing on PC game, if you uh, if you press the Xbox button, um. It starts off this like uh, it's almost like that quick start menu on the PlayStation. It's up way more in depth. Mm-hmm. Um, where it's got widgets, it's got your GPU, your CPU performance. It's got um, what I like. It's got these um, 
these audio uh, audio bars for your sound mixing. So you can on the fly in the game adjust what the audio levels are of your browser, your Discord call, your game, whatever, oh. anything that's giving you an audio output. That's nice. You can adjust it right there there. Which is great because that means you don't have to exit the game, go to your sound ses- sound settings and kind of move it around and then go back in the game. Yeah. Um, you can do it on the fly and get back to the game. And it, it doesn't suspend the game, but it just it, it brings up an overlay. And then there's a whole bunch of other widgets um, that give you the per- about the performance, temperature of your computer, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. All that stuff is cool. But um, one thing I really liked is that so I stream with XSplit. And uh, while I'm streaming, I can actually pull up the YouTube chat and it's right there. And it's a, right there as a widget. So for me to look at the YouTube chat, I can just press the Xbox button and it's right there. And I don't have to have it either re- playing back on my phone or on the other screen of the computer. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing, too, that I've been doing is I've been streaming on YouTube. So check me out over there. All right. Um, so far, every stream has been pretty successful. I've been averaging somewhere between three and five viewers, which is better than I was doing with Twitch. My worst stream so far was the one I just did this weekend with Overwatch, but I think that's because I forgot to share it on Twitter. Or no, 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 no. I totally did that. I think it's because um, I uh, it's just Overwatch is just kind of saturated and nobody really plays it outside of hardcore people at this point. No. Maybe during the event when they had like the Halloween event going on. I don't know if they yeah. had the Christmas one or the holiday, whatever you want to call it. That one's going on yet, dude. I could care less about the events. I, the, the I hate events. But that's games. what people love in uh, Overwatch is getting them event skins, man. Dude, the skins don't. It's a first person shooter. The skins don't matter. Shit. Even they got me back on Overwatch for a while just to get that one Echo skin. I thought it was so cool for Halloween. I had to get that. I wanted it. Yeah. Um. Uh, and then, uh, so, yeah, just the, the one thing I'm impressed with the controller on the Series X is just that build quality, it feels. Th- this makes the PS4 controller feel cheap. And I'm pretty sure you feel that way about the PS5 controller as well. Do I think the PS5 controller is cheap? No, no. It makes the PS4 controller feel cheap. Oh, probably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does the PS5 controller compare to the PS4 controller? Much better. I mean, the PS4 controller was cool when you first got it, but then I think the failure rate of all my PS4 controllers is at, like, 80%. Because I've had sucks. at least, like, six of them. And I'm glad to be done with them. Because they <laughs> fucking suck. It's nice that they're yeah, re- gave- rechargeable, but they lose charge so fast. Yeah, they last like three hours. Yeah, they're if that. fucking trash controllers, man. And and that's crazy because that means that if the maximum battery life is already starts at three hours, it's only going to get shorter as you use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I gave my old uh, PS4 controller to my nephew. Um, so you can have that, dude. Yeah, Ooh, the only thing that was good is like my arcade stick because that works on PC very well because it has a PC setting. So I can just throw it on there and it's good to go. Oh, that's awesome. But um but yeah, that's the the this you know, the and I was I looked at my nephew's Xbox One controller and I was like it feels a lot similar to this one. This feels way better. But I was just like, man, I should have been using the Xbox One controller on PC for a long time. And I just I was using my PS4 controller and it was doing its job, but for the most part, it kept disconnecting. And then you you had to you you had to um, what's it called? You had to um, you had to keep it connected through a wire. Uh, and then the wire kept falling off because the B- PS4 uses uh, USB Type uh, B, I think. Oh, the small the, one. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that that little um, the male part of that cable. Like it just it just starts failing after a while, yeah. So, you know, I really I just really wish I would have been using this a little bit earlier, because um, it just it just feels really really good. And on top of that, you know, it works. It's wireless on PC. Yeah. Like I don't have to keep like it's man. Like I just feel like I, like man, I should have just been using this a long time ago. For PC. <laughs> like I, I feel like I missed out now. I mean, every time um, when I pull up a game on steam it's always using the xbox formats for the controller so definitely yeah. is a good fit dude if at the very least i would say get one of the if you plan on using controller on pc get one of these like it really it's really good and the other thing that they did with the controller 
and then behind the some of the tech is that they say they decreased the latency. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't. I didn't use the other controller. I can tell you that the controller just feels better compared to the PS4 controller I used. Yeah. But um, I would recommend getting one of these controllers uh, if you plan on gaming on PC. Uh, just because it's it's just it's so smooth and um, they only have three colors right now. They have black, white, and blue. And honestly, when I get the Xbox Series X, I'm probably gonna trade in that controller in there and this controller for the blue one. <laughs> oh, just, so you do like the color aesthetics, huh? Uh, some of it. I mean, I mean, it's just blue just looks better than white or black. I kind of like my. I kind of like having like one black one, one white one, one like translucent or like just multicolor controllers. Like at this point, we've had twenty. At this point, we've had like twenty years of black and white controllers. Yeah, that's true. I still like them. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the the other thing that I did like about this, um, so on the companion app, you can update the controller, and I don't know what they plan on doing with it in the future. Yeah, that happened with my PlayStation 5. Because I hooked my controllers up and it said updating controller. I'm like, what the hell is happening? And I know the Xbox One controller you could update. But this one, um, it, I did have issues with it when I first connected it. I updated it and it was fine. But it, yeah, I don't I don't know what the update uh, does. I did see a review where they were playing some racing games. And they said that um, after updating it, that uh, the uh, the trigger for the racing game, they were playing split second. Mm -hmm. And um, they said the trigger will kind of stick down. But as far as I know, it doesn't have haptic uh, feedback triggers just like the PS5 controller. So... I, I don't know. I, I just have no idea what the update functionality brings to it. Like, I I don't know if they, they feature-proof their controller or if they plan to release a second version of it that takes better advantage of it. Mm. Um, personally, me, I would be excited if they decided to put, like, Dolby Atmos, uh, Dolby Atmos on the controller. That way you can plug in your headset and, um, like, you can just have high-quality audio. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be really, really cool. And then just the last thing to say is that for anyone that was concerned, they added uh, a microphone jack, which just wasn't there during the previous generation. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's cool. Um, I plan on getting the Series X this weekend. I'm pretty stoked about it. i uh, been looking a lot into Game Pass and everything Xbox has to offer. And I'm fully on board with the Xbox ecosystem. Um, I sold my PS4 already, which is cool. It's good and it's bad. Um, <laughs> I mean, all my games run on PC better anyways, so. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm excited to see you get it. I want to hear all about it. Uh, it's probably going to look a lot like the Xbox One. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I honestly, like, I at GameStop, I bought Saints Row and Final Fantasy XIII 2. And I was like, I want to see if... If Saints Row still stutters, or if it runs at a smooth thirty or sixty, whatever it was, man, if it's uncapped, that shit is probably gonna run at sixty, man. That'd be cool, man. Or OG Saints Row, uh, like they had that. Uh, I miss that. Like, ah, man, I love Saints Row. I love that series. Yeah, that series went like balls to the wall, nuts from like GTA to like comic book crazy superpowers randomness. It's so uh, I love the story for all those games. It's so. It, it, it's it's goofy it knows what it is i hope they make a new one soon mm -hmm. well only thing i've been doing is really just working playing ps5 i should be streaming more but i've been kind of like working behind the scenes to find like a better job and whatnot things like that ps5 is cool um i definitely got a little bit better on mouse and keyboard playing uh dead space on uh steam like bro those steam sales are so good like the steam sales are amazing like every time they have and you can get like the best games for like two bucks it's the best thing ever but you don't you don't do the what'd you say you don't do steam sales you don't do the steam sales nah i'm just i i'm not that i'm not a pc guy i don't like using my computer to game honestly like to me, I look at it and I'm just like, these games are taking up way too much storage. Yeah. I wish I could just put have the Xbox or the PlayStation and just like just keep all the game shit there. I mean, I had definitely had to like load my terabyte storage because my PS4 had a two terabyte, so I took the one terabyte of that, put it on my PC, and I have all my games on that. Yeah, I have an external hard drive, but I think I'm gonna give it to one of my cousins actually. 
Man, be selfish with your um, memory, dude. That's what I am. <laughs> I, dude, I give away most of my shit. Like, once I'm done using it, I'm just like, all right, well, we can give it away or just sell it. Like, today, for example, I uh, had the Logitech um, G Pro X headphones, which were really good on PC, and I sold it to one of my cousins for 50 bucks. I bought it for 120 Okay, that's not bad. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I had a capture card I gave to another YouTuber, like, a year ago, just... I was like I you know my uh, like I just my games I give them away like I gave away Final Fantasy 7 remake to uh, a guy named Paul. Oh hell no. Uh, I'm like, not giving I, away none of my games. <laughs> hell no. Dude, like I I like to give away my stuff once I'm done with it if I can. Like if I, I'll keep onto it if I can but if I I'll, I'll give it away. Yeah. But Steam sales yeah I never you know I dude, this is my first year really like doing anything with PC. So I mean I I just mm, I'm gonna have a hard time doing a Steam sale just because one, I I don't like or already I do not like using my PC to game. Dang, I actually am trying to like get more into it. I enjoy it. Like you said, my mouse and keyboard def- definitely takes some getting used to. It's definitely. Weird. I don't like it. It's super mechanical, especially when it comes to WASD. It's like, uh your character is just so it feels stiff but when you add in like the aiming functionality of a mouse it makes sense like i get it i i get the aiming functionality of the mouse but the keyboard shit i don't like yeah i, I can understand that i definitely do because it's very it's very mechanical it's just either straight uh, back left or right i will say so i got one of my friends gave me his uh, overwatch account for pc and I was playing PC Overwatch. I, I launched that like two weeks ago because I was like, oh, I got the Xbox controller. I can actually, you know, play this with uh, with the, the controller. Uh, which And, um, bro, people fucking hate people that use controllers on Overwatch. Uh-oh. Yeah, like in the chat, because, you know, have you played PC Overwatch before? No. I highly recommend it. It's really, really funny. Oh, so uh, I just, can if get not, trolled? Just, Hell no. Do, no, just troll people. It's oh it's the funniest God. shit ever. People are gonna. Shit I love on baiting people. I love baiting people. I love it. People are just gonna be like, um, bro, just, your aim is so bad. Why are you on this game, dude? They won't even know you're on you're, you're on controller unless you tell them. And that's exactly what happened. So, uh, so if you press enter, you can chat to the opposite team, or you can just chat to your team. You can just you can just speak to the enemy or speak to your friends. What the fuck? Uh, you can do that on Overwatch. <laughs> Dude, bro, bro, no I was going so after, <laughs> I was going after a Mercy, and uh, she was just like, and then she typed in the chat, uh, or he typed in the chat, like, "Hey, fuck off, Sombra." <laughs> like I was the Sombra. <laughs> I was just like, okay. <laughs> um, it's really funny though. It's really funny to just at least like bait people, but w- just to goof around because when my friend told me that they don't like controllers, I was like, on t- on chat, I just typed. Hey, does anyone know how to fix the drift issue? <laughs> and there was a silence. And then someone answered, you mean with Farrah or Echo? And I said, no. And then no someone said on voice drift. chat, someone said on voice chat, are you on a fucking controller? <laughs> Bro, are you using a controller? What do you mean sticks? Who the fuck plays Overwatch on a controller on PC? <laughs> Oh, it was the funniest shit ever, man. I highly recommend it. Like, got, oops, time to go. Get it when it's on sale or whatever, just pick it up and uh dude, it, it's once again the the Series X controller, oh man. Oh, I, so I, I would recommend on. getting one of these. Great. Dude, get one of these for your PC gaming. I, I legit highly recommend it. So you want me to pay sixty bucks for the controller to get on Overwatch, get my ass kicked by a twelve year old, and then get cursed out by my whole team for using a fucking controller. Oh. They won't know you're using a controller unless you tell them. Like it doesn't tell it doesn't tell the anyone you're using it. Okay. But if you type into chat, boy, my trigger buttons feel weird. <laughs> Just see how the reaction is. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe one day. But another oh, thing speak- is like, dude, ever since I got the PS5 and like people will find out that you have the PS5, it just like snowballs into the worst shit ever like it literally brings out the worst in people like one of my friend's parents 
found out I had it and he wanted to get it for someone else. And he just was like, yo, I'm going to send you my credit card information at 3 a.m. Just in case you can find him. Like, look, don't do that. Don't send me your credit card information. I don't want anything to do with it. Then my cousin was like, I'm trying to get it for my kids. How would you get one? I'm like, literally, I was asleep when it released. PlayStation sent me an email to get it. I didn't put any effort into it. I got completely lucky. And she's like, okay, yeah. so how do you get it? I'm like, oh my listen, gosh. it was complete luck. Complete dumb. It luck. was a stroke of chance. Yeah, God Himself did not know what happened. Yeah, I did not put any effort forth to get this system. So all day and night, people will message you about this system, trying to buy it off, and you doing all this crazy shit. And you're like, dog, it's not that serious. It's just the PlayStation Five. Yeah. Um. I I've been getting, I think, a few of my family members interested to the Xbox Series X whenever I go over like all of the value like going like you know if you get game pass ultimate that also comes with spotify premium oh yeah that that also comes with three months of disney plus that also comes with uh xbox live gold and that also comes with two games a month like it's just the value proposition is really really good yeah and then you have also the people who are like oh i can't believe you got that system it's a piece of shit why didn't you wait two years later and get the playstation 5 pro i'm like because I wanted it. That's it. Yeah, worst case scenario, just trade towards it. Yeah, I wanted it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, my mom gave me her credit card. She's like, see if you can get me a PlayStation 5. And I was like, I, nope. That's, <laughs> we can try, but it's not, it's just not going to happen. Go ahead, sold out take everywhere. this back. Yeah, don't, don't yeah, text I mean, anyone your credit card information because I, that's one thing I'm like, bro, I'm going to delete your number because you're not getting me in a lawsuit. Yeah, I might do the camp. I might camp out at GameStop on Friday. I don't know, cause um, my sister wants to get one for her kid, and then my mom wants to get. I don't know why my mom wants to get one. Actually, she's giving it. I know she's giving away to somebody. I don't know who she's giving it away to. A PS Five? Oh, I'd be pissed. Yeah, I I know it's not me. I'd be pissed. Maybe my brother who doesn't play games at all. I'd, like I I legit don't know who she's giving it to. I'd be even madder. Yeah, like. It's like, okay, gracias. Um, it's like giving Jeff but, Bezos, like, $2 billion. Yeah, like, what you need that for? <laughs> Bro, you're worth $12 trillion. What you need that for? Get richer. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of baiting people, uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, posted a funny uh, image on my Twitter with a politician. Oh. This is pretty good. <laughs> I think I know who that is, Mister yeah, Sock. That was Mister Sock account, dude. That was so good. That was that was so funny. I responded to that a week ago, and then I forgot all about it until last night before I was going to sleep. And I was like, "Oh yeah, let me check up on this." And then just like, "Oh, you're blocked." Um, este, uh I was going to say, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, um. I was going to say something else. Uh, the other thing I was doing is I was catching up on uh, Digimon. Digimon. Uh, yeah, Digimon uh, Season 4, which I think is called uh, Frontier. The Japanese version is called Frontier. I think the English version is honestly just called Digimon. Yeah. But it's the... Uh, did you ever see Digimon? Yeah, I watched, I think, the first three seasons. Like, I think Ty and then Davis was in the second one. And the third one was, like, the Tamers. Yeah, Tamers. That yeah, which is, I think in English is just called season three. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but I, yeah, I but uh, watching those, they were cool. Digimon season four. It's weird. Um, if anyone wants to check it out, I I do think it has a better intro song than the other ones. Um, that's just a. Di, 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 I'm about to say Digimon. they're all the, like the same song. Is it just Digimon? No, no, no. season four. Digimon has a legit Monsters, different song. Digimon on the champions. No, no. Yeah, yeah, well, that is the original song, but the, the season four uh, has, um, uh, I think, it's just a stronger intro. Uh, like it's just, it's just an actual song. But um, season four is weird. It reminds me a lot of uh, Power Rangers or Common Rider, because uh, they got their little things and they can each transform into a Digimon. Yeah, that was kind of like what the Tamers did, didn't they? Like fuse with the fucking Digimon. They did, at, but like, they had their own like, Digimon why partners. They fuse them with the Digimon. I'm like that's so fucking. So weird. in this one. That's the first, that's where they start. They're like, okay, well, we just, you get the spirit, you can turn into the spirit, and then that's just how it goes. You get, you might get another spirit later. So there's, there, there's Digimon spirits in this show now. 
yeah, they absorb the spirit and then they turn into that Digimon spirit for fighting. It's hell? um okay. It, it gets away a little bit from the Digimon premise. I will say though, once you get to episode like ten or eleven or twelve, once they all have their spirits and they're not fucking around anymore, the bad guys are actually pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, once you get like it's fifty episodes, I think. But once you get past the first fifth of it, where you're, you know, you're once you get to like the part of Naruto where they're, but where they're past the exam and they're in the forest, it gets cool. Yeah, I mean, Digimon was always one of those series that I don't think got its like just due because it was always going up against it Pokemon. And then the the and uh, like if Digimon, you go back and just, watch the, it was way more fun. It was a fun ass show. I liked it. It was fun, but if you go watch. Go back and watch the English dub. It's so fucking stupid. I mean, yeah, it's, it's they say the dumbest shit all the time, and they reuse like all the attack like animations all the time. Yeah, like Electro Shocker, yeah. Pepper Breath. Like, god damn, I've yeah. seen this like a million times. Um, that being said, um, if you guys are interested in Digimon, Digimon Try is pretty cool. I've seen parts of it. It's it looks really cool. Um, and also that I didn't realize this, but they're remaking the first Digimon adventures. So the first season of Digimon, I think I saw that it's re- somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's remade with 2020 quality. Mm-hmm. I rode it's, my bike like four miles to actually go see the Digimon movie. And it was actually a Digimon movie. Really was very, good. very cool. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was one of the best summers I had. Shit was fire. Yeah. Yeah. The animation was good. Part of the reason why I, I was in a, su- I was in a subreddit discussion, like talking about this a couple months ago is that in Digimon, the movie, that something that happens that you don't always get in animation is that things have a weight to them. Like punches look and feel like punches. So um, in Digimon the movie, especially when they're in the digital world, like, you know, you have Greymon and he punches um, the spider dude. Uh, you know, it, it looks like a punch when the spider dude's firing, like his head is just moving boom, 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 all over the place. Like yeah. things have a force to them. And the uh, an animation... In animation, you miss that a lot, especially in shows like Dragon Ball Z, where they're fighting so much because they emphasize on how strong everybody is. But one thing that they and they, you know, things the world's shaking around them, lightning's coming from the sky, whatever. But uh, you know, they they things don't have a weight to them, and I, I that's one thing I learned from rewatching the Digimon movies. That I really like anime where things look like they have like a weight and a force oh, yeah. to them. Well. The whole first part of the thing was like a basically like a kaiju fight between uh, yeah. Greymon and someone else. The parrot. The parrotmon. The parrotmon. And it was actually yeah. really cool the way they did it. And I just remember the soundtrack also of this being really good. so good. And just yeah. listening to that shit all the time. And yeah, it just Digimon really should get its, its due that it's deserved. I just, they just need to find, they need a, I, that's a, what the, the new anime is kind of, it's kind of being a little bit more mature, kind of like how the movie was. Um, the same thing with Digimon Adventure Try, more mature, just like how the movie was. Because all the other, all the other series up until Digimon Adventure, uh, all the other Digimons, they're very child friendly, kind of like Pokemon. Mm-hmm. And they don't like to, like the movies kind of went into that, but even then, um. That being said, uh, the Digimon the movie is like three. It's in America. It's kind of weird because it was three different Digimon movies kind of combined, yeah, and loosely put together in a way that the originals weren't. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, uh, I believe in Digimon Adventure. I believe in Digimon Try. Uh, they do make a reference to the dude who had the two Digimons. Uh, what's his name? Travis or. The American. Yeah, the, I forget his name. Yeah. Yeah, the one that lost the Digimon and then he turned bad. That was the whole reason why the whole movie was yeah. a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that dude. They make they actually make a reference to him. I believe they actually show him. Um, which is kind of cool because it kind of ties back the movies back to the, the new version of the shows. Um, also, uh, the other cool thing is that if you guys didn't know, the movie actually had a sequel. Yeah. The dude yeah, we're, comes back. I forget his name. The, yeah, the dude uh, Armageddon Mon. I think that's the same. The dude he comes back. And, Omnimon, Omnimon yeah. stabs with the sword. Yeah, dude. That and that part is so. Go watch him. Go back and watch that part, dude. It's so like I'm telling you that that, that movie has so much weight to it. It feels so cool. Um, you know, Omnimon comes out in it. So does the other ones. Uh, that being said, uh, I, I was going somewhere with this. Um, 
and that was uh, Digimon Frontier. Very, uh, uh, man, it really does feel like Power Rangers. Very weird. I like the bad guys, but man, the English dubs of Digimon just, they're just not, all of them, they're just not very good. <laughs> like the new ones, sure. The Digimon Adventure, the Digimon, the new Digimon Adventure, I don't know if they'll come with the dub, but the Digimon Try, good. The movie, awesome. All this other stuff, not good. Oh yeah, that that's definitely where uh, Digimon fails and Pokemon like reigns supreme. Is everything else that Pokemon did besides the games was actually pretty good. The only thing I hate about Pokemon was the anime. I I thought it was fucking trash as yeah. a kid. But like the trading <laughs> card game, like the trading card video game, like all the fucking cool events they had at malls. Pokemon was just dominating, but Digimon it was just like it had the show. It had the little Digimon that you could take around to battle your friends, which died after like two days. But other than that, like the card game for Digimon sucked. Most of the games sucked. But then like you get your one good Digimon game here and there, and that's like it. Yeah. And that's that's the that oh man, that's such a it's such a hit or miss property because so many of the monster designs in that show look really cool. Yeah, big time. Like like Agumon, whatever. Greymon, okay, cool. Dinosaur, Metal Greymon, that that one's a baller. Yeah. Freaking War Greymon. War Greymon goes super hard. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Just mm, more of that. And the same thing with uh with Gabumon. Um, freaking uh, freaking Gabumon, whatever. I don't even know what the fuck Gabumon is. He looks like a dinosaur with the jacket yeah, it's of a, a wolf. ice dinosaur wolf thing. <laughs> And then he evolves, he evolves into Garurumon, which is a big wolf. Cool. I like that. I like I like wolves better than I like dinosaurs. And then right there, Dig evolves into where Garurumon. So now he's you know he stands up and he's got jeans and shit. <laughs> he's got tattoos. He's going through his full punk face. <laughs> you know he's he's got the Namora belt where he's got a regular belt and then oh, another God. belt going to the side. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, from there, Dig evolves into Metal Garurumon, which is. Baller, baller! Mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh, they can get missiles. This is this is awesome." Oh, you know what? If you haven't seen Digimon Adventure Try, by the way, Digimon Adventure Try free on Google, on YouTube. Ooh, all of them, like the three good. movies, the three movies, full HD, free on Google. Um, but I didn't realize this. They finally get Mega Evolutions for the other Digidest and other than just Gabumon and uh and uh and uh Agumon. Yeah, I thought most of them hit it. Besides that. No, they did. No, the only ones that hit the Mega Evolution in the first show was Agumon, uh, Tai, and uh, and, and Gabumon. Matt, T yeah, Matt. So their two Digimon hit Mega Evolution. Yeah, and that was it. And they turned into Omnimon and whatever. Mm -hmm. The other ones didn't get a Mega Evolution. In Digimon Adventure Try, they you get to see their Mega Evolutions, and it's actually really oh, cool. Oh, okay. Now I'm going back to watch it. Okay, you just yeah, dude. Check now. it, check it out on Google. It's it's free with with ads, and it's really not that many ads. But um, yeah, like uh, the bird, the beetle, the um, uh, the cat woman, like they uh, the the cat girl, whatever. The cat Angelmon, all their mega, all their mega evolutions. Uh, the angel one is actually really cool. Yeah, Angel Woman. <laughs> uh, no, oh no, 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 like her mega evolution. Yeah, which, which is past it, that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's all like really cool because you see them for a second in the digital mo Digimon movie when they released the golden Digi eggs, and that that's that's it. Oh yeah, the Digi evolution from like season two where they were using the eggs to get like firepower and like lightning and shit. That was interesting. Yeah, it was kind of cool though. And it 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 was cool. I mean, Digimon's always got its gimmicks. Every every show had literally has its gimmicks. Mm -hmm. Um. The fourth one just being the uh, the uh, spirit digital digivolution, which starts off goofy but gets kind of cool towards the end. But very 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 goofy in the beginning, very not cool, very lame for the first ten episodes. Oh. Very Naruto's episode one kind of bad. Oh god. Well, yeah. But ready to get into some gaming shit. Yeah. How's first? How's your PS Five? Give me your PS Five review. You want my PS Five review? It's pretty good. I enjoy it. Um, the graphics are definitely amazing. I don't have a 4K TV, so I can't can't tell you guys 4K versus 1080p. Sorry, but what I can tell what's your what's your display monitor? My display monitor. It's a Westinghouse. Yeah, not, no, not your television. Your actual display for your computer. Oh, my LG. Yeah. Oh, it's um. I think this one does 4K. I think it's 4K ultra wide. 
and then what, what are the rate. yeah why you should plug in your ps5 into that yeah i could and it'd probably look even better it probably would but uh yeah what's your what's your ps5 review um so far i play mostly miles morales and how is that game is fucking beautiful like holy shit dude it, did you see that twit that twitter video oh with the, the cop and the gun on him? <laughs> yeah. oh my god it's like man this game is so realistic <laughs> yeah but like when you play it and you'll know like when you start playing it if anyone gets spider-man miles morales you'll start like going through the cutscenes and everything like there's no blur there's no mer- motion blur you can see everything and it's like super cl- crystal clear it's like wow this looks fucking beautiful and the loading super fast which is which is super cool um it does doesn't have all the features that the ps4 has like the being able to display your audio through the tv and your headset unfortunately now you have to mm-hmm. pick unless they patch that in which is kind of yeah the ps4 was whack. like that which is part of the reason why i'm going with xbox this generation is because of that it makes recording harder yeah it definitely does and you can't just plug like your old Astro headset in there. You can either plug it in the controller or you have to get like the Pulse 3D yep. wireless headset, which it's going to be a bitch for some streamers. Yeah. But the quick menu's cool. Uh, that's definitely good quality of life uh, change. Uh, copying PlayStation 4 games is super fast. The store is a little bit better. The UI is decent. So it's a better system than the PlayStation 4. Okay. Just needs more um, of those features of that lets you like do whatever you want. It needs more storage too. How how, oh, yeah. how are you on storage? Bro, I'm on my my last 150 gigabytes probably. Dude, Call of Duty uh the the Battle Royale is 200 gigabytes. Yeah, I didn't even bother with Call of Duty. I was like hell no. Dude, I installed that on my laptop. And uh, I installed uh, Overwatch and Rocket League and all this stuff. And then, like, I legit, on my SSD on my laptop, had three gigabytes left. And I was like, all right, we're uninstalling these games and moving them because fuck this. Fuck this. I had to do that on my PC, too. All my Steam games are going straight to my SSD. And I'm like, oh, hold up. I had, like, 50 left. Had to put them on the hard drive. Um, But that's cool. Um, How's that uh, headset that you said um, at first... uh, Sounded okay, but with the PS5 sounds better. The the yeah, PS5 it, headset. It sounds a little bit better, but I still think my Astros trump the Pulse 3D wireless headset. So do you think you're going to get rid of the headset and sell it or something? Yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. If I want a wireless headset, I'm probably going to go with uh, that Steel Series. I think that one seems like it'd be a good buy. I'm actually looking at getting a wireless headset right now, but the problem is that it's two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, because one of the Steel Series, like the the good one, says you can listen to like gaming and your PC as well, so you can do like multiple streams. Into yeah, your headset, and that's which I'm like that's fucking fire. That's that's what I was looking at. That's exactly the one I was looking at. Yeah, um, it wasn't the Steel Series though. It was a uh, it was um something else. Let me see if I can find it. The, yeah, the LS50X uh, LS gaming headset. X. Ooh, sounds fancy. It's super fancy. So basically, it can combine your the audio from your phone, your PC, and your Xbox all into one source, which is cool because if you're you know if you're streaming, that's less cables. Yeah, and it's also wireless, so you can get Bluetooth audio from your phone, your computer, and your Xbox. I'm probably going to pick this up from uh, GameStop, though, just so I can get points. But, yeah, it's uh, called uh, – here, I'll put it in um, – Yeah, it looks I'll give good. you a link. It looks cool. There's it a, looks a lot like, like an LG product. There's but, a Snoop uh, Dogg version of this? Wait, what? That's kind of cool. This is the more expensive one, though. There's, there's a cheaper version of it, which I'm not going to – I'm not going to get. I'm going to go for the expensive one just because um, – I, I, you know that the it's sound. This seems like it'd be great for streamers. Yeah, because you have less less cables, one mic th- for everything to go through, um, and even then, uh, you can mix the audio from your PC and your and your headset. So you're at least like kind of messy, like you don't have as many. You're not fumbling between as many sources. Yeah, that's so definitely I, I, uh, it's good quality of life improvement. 
yeah so that's that's probably gonna be my next headset um i'm debating whether i should get that or the extra storage for the xbox oh i'm definitely getting the ssd from my ps5 thankfully i shouldn't oh, need it right now but <laughs> that's the snoop dog version <laughs> yeah the snoop dog ones look kind of fire man they're like gray for the smoke jesus yeah. jesus christ too bad yeah, like I 400 wonder... bucks Oh God! I wonder if it's gonna, um, if this is gonna, if it works. I know it works with the Xbox One. I wonder if it works with the PS4, the or the PS5. I wouldn't be surprised. But apparently, it's got really good reviews in terms of audio quality. The mic is really good because um, the old LG headset I got, I, I I sold it today because the mic wasn't bassy enough, and then um, I would have to still use my blue microphone during streaming, which I don't mind, but. Like you know, that's just too many cables. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, that that's cool to hear about the 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 headset. It's only slightly better. Yeah, I would say the if you guys really want like a headset for the PlayStation Five, I would steer away from the uh the Pulse 3D headset unless your budget is only like a hundred bucks, and you know it's a good buy. But if you want something better, I'm pretty sure you can go with Astro or the Steel Series. Well, I've been a big fan of the of the quality of the PlayStation headsets. The only thing that I don't like is their microphone. Yeah. But their audio, I've I've always really just really liked. It's not bad for the price. I definitely won't argue that one. I never tried the platinum, but I did have the gold, and the gold was actually pretty good for what I paid. Cuz I think okay. it was like 70 or something like that. It wasn't bad. Yeah, the um yeah, the gold, I, I got the platinum, which was, once again, sounded really good, but the microphone was ass. Ouch. Yeah, just, I was, and I, I was disappointed by that. I was just like, ah, oh, man, these, because what they do is that they put like, oh, we got this dual microphone so we can really pick up everything around you. And then it's like, well, why the fuck would I want to pick up everything around me? <laughs> you just want my voice. That's all you need to focus on. <laughs> yeah. Um... That that's cool. Uh, what else did you play on? Did you play any of your uh, other games? Uh, the your from your PS4 library? Oh hell yeah, man! That was like one of the best things to do. Um, Dead by Daylight got an update and it plays way better, like insane. I, I can better. imagine there's like less stuttering, faster yes. loading, better. I just I'm guessing mechanic mechanically also just better. Yeah, it looks a little bit better, but it just plays so much better like there's no stuttering there's like barely any lag like man it's a completely different game on playstation 5 than playstation 4 yeah yeah i don't know why that game is just so like not optimized on ps playstation 4 and xbox one yeah it's trash on those and it's great on pc which is fine but it's so much better on playstation 5 than playstation 4 uh resident That's evil 3 loads super fast uh mortal kombat 11 plays super fast you know all those games just pretty much get a very good loading boost so that's a lot better i mean the loading boost and also just the frame rate boost as well like you're you're the whatever the frame rate is supposed to be is just locked at it yeah it's very clean which is yeah which is very good i was showing that to my um cousin today because he was like well what's the difference i was like well you know we're essentially entering the age of no more loading screens and on top of that like you get like you know better per actual better performance which you know when the ps4 and the xbox one launch that i mean well with the, the xbox series s and the xbox i mean the xbox one s and the xbox one x they did optimize games backward compatible games for him mm -hmm. but on the ps4 and for most of the xbox library the games just weren't very well optimized for it no like outside of a playstation exclusives that those were your optimized games for the most part yeah everyone's just waiting for like from software to like do a patch for like bloodborne so they can play it at 60 frames. i don't think they're gonna do it and you can tell like it plays a little bit better on the five but it's definitely not 60 frames per second i don't think they're gonna update it they should i think what's gonna happen they definitely is they're should. just gonna re they're gonna release a ps5 version of that game that would piss me off it's just like and bro, you're gonna have to pay for it <laughs> just uncrap the fucking frame rate man that is that's exactly what's gonna happen they uh they don't they're just they're not gonna it's like now I, I have a reason to play uh god of war because i've had god of war for a minute 
but now it plays at 60 frames per second on this. Oh, really? Now I want, I'm dying to try it now. Yeah. Because that was a, that was a 30 FPS game. Yeah, and now it's 60. Ooh, that's that's sexy. Yeah, it looks beautiful too. That's why I'm hoping yeah, that bet, like Last I'd, of Us Two and a couple of other games. I hope they get like 60 frames because that would definitely entice me to get them and play it. That game had a lot of uh, motion blur too. Yeah, big time. But it's a beautiful game. But playing that thing at 60, oh yeah, sign me up. Yeah, and then have you have you been spoiled at all on the story for that game or no? On Last of Us Two? No, no, no. God of War. God of War. No, I haven't been spoiled at all. Oh, you're, you're gonna have a good time with it. It's really, it doesn't have a lot of boss fights. It reminds me a lot of God of War One, where God of War One had like three boss fights. It's mm-hmm. kind of the same. That's kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> I'm willing to give it a try. You know, it's not the same Kratos we had. Now we have like Dad Bod Kratos, which yeah. is cool. If you have an HD, if you have an HDR display, that game's also really good in HDR. I don't like, really really good. Dude, future investments. Yep. Well, speaking of the PlayStation 5, the whole world has been burning because of it. So one of the things I talked about, how it was uh, the scalpers have literally flooded the market with like $1,000 PS5s. Dude, fuck those people. Fuck. Hold up. People started getting fuck. robbed. Fuck. Like, Toronto, people those were people. getting robbed for their PlayStation 5s, which sucks. Fuck them. <laughs> And then Amazon drivers who were supposed to be dropping off PlayStation 5s were literally put appliances in their packages instead of the PlayStation 5. Take the PlayStation 5 and then send like an air fryer out to the person who was supposed to get the PlayStation 5. Yeah, fuck. God damn. Yeah, fuck those. Uh, that I, is, I hate scoppers, dude. That is nuts. Like, that is some of the craziest shit I've ever heard during a console release. When the yeah. drivers who deliver your packages are stealing your packages and then giving you a hair dryer, it's like, this is crazy. Yeah, nah. <clears throat> um, it, like, I, I am just so over scalpers. Like, I, I hope to God nobody buys their shit and they end up just like those toilet people did during the pandemic. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my toilet paper. No one wants to buy my toilet paper. eBay won't let me sell my toilet paper. Fuck you. Stop being a bitch. But also the website's got to stop letting bots be able to purchase all this shit. Because it makes like the average consumer have no chance to getting them. That shit is bullshit. That's true, too. But it's like, uh, it, it really is. And it... Mm. Yeah, like I like the way the X, the Best Buy did it because when I bought the Xbox, uh, dude. So sales on my side went on like around four in the morning. They stayed up till about six in the morning. People were able to get what they wanted. That's good. That's how it should be. It's like a two hour window. That's good. And I had to. I was put on a queue when I added it to my cart, but that was like a five minute queue. Yeah, I was put into a queue when I was getting the PlayStation Five, which definitely yeah, but made but it I mean, it was only easier. a Oof. it was only a five minute wait. Like it's just like. You know, this it's it's definitely cool, like the way that Best Buy did it. I it sucks that I don't think that's how Walmart's gonna do it in uh two days. Nope. I doubt it. Cause uh, I don't know why they keep releasing these things like this. They really shouldn't. And it happened with Series X, um all the new graphics cars, the thirty eighties, thirty nineties, all those got yep. scalped to hell. Which just yep. it kinda sucks. It really fucking sucks. But I mean, one of my friends, he bought his. Uh, I believe he got the thirty eighty for only fifty dollars. He only had to pay fifty dollars more. So I'm hoping that um, these people realize that not a whole lot of people are buying them, and they're going to have to either one lower their prices or two return them. I hope that happens because from what I see on like eBay, people are paying like big money for them. They are, but like they have big prices. But if you look at how many sold, it's not that much. Like it's just, it's just like I'm looking it up right now. Uh, it's it's uh, let me see PS5. It's it's not there. Not a whole lot are being sold. Like yeah, so this guy he sold fifteen of them at seventeen ninety nine. Jesus Christ, you can build a way better PC with that. Good lord. Yeah, so this guy sold twenty three at fourteen ninety nine. So that's a thousand five hundred dollars. God. This guy sold twenty two 
like you know this is less than a hundred right here this is you know sony sold millions they're selling less than a they're selling less than a hundred yeah. and um you know i just don't see these guys let's see this one hasn't sold one but he's got 35 watchers it's it's definitely a lot of people that um it looks like prices are going down for the most part. I bet Xbox Series X prices drop drastically because people are buying less of that one than the PS5. Yeah. Give me a second. All right. Sorry, guys. Gonna, you know, doing important research here. Uh, No, they're actually <laughs> almost a little more expensive. <laughs> yeah, some stores oh, only Jesus. got like five. That's wild. The cheapest one right here is 875 which is... Ooh. Big step down. Big. Yeah. Buy it now. 849. Ooh. 780. I mean, it looks like. It looks like prices are going down strictly because they they flooded the market within the. Like. As you know, as more as more consoles get released, they'll flood the market. It will drive down costs. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, give like two years, new versions will come out of both consoles, probably. Yeah, that's your uh, economics lesson for today, folks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what else? What else is going on in uh, gaming news? Oh, um, Square lost forty-eight million dollars with that crappy Avengers game. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, it sucks for everyone that worked on that game because they seemed really excited the way they were talking about it. Yeah, I felt bad, but also. It's kind of their own fault for making another crappy games as a service type model for this game. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. Like, uh, once again, back to the whole thing we were talking about earlier with weight. A big issue I had with watching gameplay for that is that you would punch enemies and they wouldn't react. To me, I just kept seeing the same attacks over and over, the same supers over and over, and it looked less fun than Destiny. I was just like, bro what the fuck is this game but that stuff is fine because like most games down to their core they're pretty repetitive like i don't have a problem with that my, my thing is just like from a visual point of view like what you're doing just doesn't seem that interesting it isn't but that's what makes destiny more interesting you have the story which is great you can pick your character you can hella customize it you got a million guns you can do pvp you can do like raids there's all kinds of stuff you can do in Destiny. What can you do in Avengers besides just do missions? Yeah. Are your customizing is... options really going to be deeper than Destiny? Hell no. Yeah, I don't know. That that's what that's a game that they should just like. They should have released. I wonder if they if the pandemic had anything to do with the way that game was released. Yeah. It's, I, it's just like games as a service. If you're going to do it, that model, you have to go like Destiny or like Warframe or one of those type of ways. You can't just slap like a million dollar franchise and then kind of half-ass your gameplay and expect it to sell just because of the name. It's not going to happen. Yeah, and, and and the other thing too is that the reason why Battle Royale games are free is because, um, uh, you know, you need to... You need to have a player pool to make quick matchmaking. Uh, to make matchmaking quick, you need to have a huge player pool to do that. Unfortunately, with a game like Avengers, like you know, as the game goes on longer, you're not going to have as many players, which means matchmaking is going to take longer. Which means that finding groups or beating bosses is going to be harder. It's just it's just not good all the way around. Mm. That game, honestly, that game probably would have been really good if they sold it at a loss, at like twenty dollars, thirty dollars. I guess they could have, but with the season pass, they definitely could have made that up. I just, yeah, exactly. Maybe they I mean, just the, didn't the have whole... the roadmap planned out too well. Because I don't know when the first DLC was supposed to come out. Like, the first DLC character. It was supposed to come out way earlier. Yes, and that's their fault for not sticking to their schedule. Because they should have had the first character coming out, like, the month after the game came out. Yeah, but, I, but I'm pretty sure that was because of uh, COVID, though. Like... That's the thing. It's like even Sony was like, "Oh, I don't know if we're ever going to launch a console during a pandemic anymore." <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, why not just wait? Just make your thing better and wait. Yeah. Well, everyone can't go the cyberpunk route. Yeah. Well, even then, they they don't want to launch it because of the virus either. Yeah, and they also want to fine tune it. Yeah, but we'll see. I mean, there's there's wild copies of that out. 
Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. Yeah, there's PS4 versions that are just straight up just being sold. Well, I'm glad I didn't uh, take that plunge into Avengers because that game failed hard. But I hope Squaresoft yeah. recovers, or Square Enix we call them now, because uh, 48 million as a loss is pretty big, and I hope they it's, can continue to make good games because I don't want to get punished know, for that. That's not fair. They, uh, you know, they took a big loss with Final Fantasy. How much? How much money the Final Fantasy 11? I mean, 12. I mean, thir- 14. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. How... 14 yeah, definitely uh, had a loss in the beginning. Now it's making money, right? Oh, it's making Luca money. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's making an insane amount of money. Like, uh, let me, I, let me look at the budget. FF14 budget. So it was nowhere near what that was. Cause that was, um, when FF14 released, it was released as a full price game on top of the subscription model. Yeah, I do remember and that. even up until like last year, it was still pretty much a full price game with a subscription model uh, attached to it. Let's see budget FF14 budget. Let's see what this is. Final Fantasy XIV's budget. Oh God, <laughs> there's no, there's no. If I had a guess, around forty to fifty million. Which Jesus. Well, at least That's they brought lot. it back, and the main guy who brought it back is heading 16, which is yeah. a godsend, thank God, because I'm very much looking forward to 16. Oh, wow, these dude, these boards are from five years ago. Dude, five years ago. <laughs> I saw that Star Citizen for PC has raised $68.7 million from crowdfunding. <laughs> wow. That game is still being crowdfunded. <laughs> that game is never coming out. Yeah, no, that's um, that's gonna be the twenty-five year game. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the ten-year game. Development anymore, it's about the hell. Year game. Development hell. Yeah, check out the subreddit for that. Uh, it's 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 a uh, they're they're going wild over there. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the we got the game awards coming up, which is um. Uh, I I don't really care too much for the game awards. Yeah, I don't think anyone does. Besides checking to see if like new previews for games are going to come out during that, that's like the only thing that gets us to give a shit about it. We can all be honest. Yeah, that that's cool too. But the problem with that is that like you know, okay, so they release a new game trailer, but you know they have such a shortage of consoles right now between scalpers and what the actual uh, retailers are getting that it, like it makes. Like, why would you hype people up for something they, they legitimately can't get? Man, dog. The gaming industry's been doing that. They're always going to release trailers. Yeah, but I just feel like this is... Like, save your trailers for... Like, it, it really does feel like this is just... Um, it's like that... Not to side with the, 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 the guy's uh, doom and gloom PS5 review, but um, this is... Uh, did, by the way, did you see? Did you hear about that PS5 review? Yeah, when he started talking about the world economy versus like the system, I'm like, bro, what the fuck are yeah. you talking about? That was from Kotaku, yeah, like, wasn't it? I don't know where it was from. It was either go Kotaku or the or the other one that everyone uses. <laughs> the other one, not IGN. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that um, I mean, to an extent, he does have a point in the sense that you know, you're you're just putting out stuff that people like cannot get i'd be curious to see what their sales numbers are for uh for the new consoles because uh or, or even for new games just because um they just uh i don't know man there's scalpers are definitely buying them but people regular people aren't buying them which means the scalpers have a console but they they also have about games which i'm assuming skews the numbers maybe yeah they definitely would yeah well sony's a public company so Give it a few months and then they'll have an earnings call and they'll they'll talk about it. Yeah, but for those those who care, the game of the year nominees is Animal Crossing, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades. I don't know what the f that is, and Last of Us Part Two. For all you anti SJWs out there, let me tell you who's not gonna win it: Doom Eternal and Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> Maybe not. Doom Eternal just doesn't like for all the things that's cool about it. It just doesn't have enough content. It's fun. And Last of Us Part Two is just it's way too divisive. 
Yeah. And but not but not like a cool divisive in the way that Death Stranding was. No, like Death Stranding was pretty divisive, but that was because um people were like, Oh well you just don't like the gameplay. Oh well whatever well, this looks really cool. Everybody agreed that it was a technical marvel and that the game the story looked cool, but people were like, I don't know about that gameplay. That's what's part two. Very divisive and everything else. Yeah, that gameplay looks pretty fucking sweet. I'll give that game that. Yeah, they have really good level design, though. Mm-hmm. If I had to pick one, I would just go with Final Fantasy Remake, just because I'm a fucking Final Fantasy Seven fanboy. So, yeah, I would go with FF Seven Remake. Um, Animal Crossing did really good too. Yeah, I'm surprised that that game got that popular. Because I swear it was like a game that no one really played outside of like a few cult classic like followers. I don't think it's going to be Ghost of Tsushima. That, seem, that game seems too too out there for that. I haven't played it yet, I do think, but it's a beautiful ass looking game. And it is one of the games hey, that plays at 60 frames on the PlayStation 5. Uh, Hades seems like it has a really good shot though. Hades was... The, Hades is really interesting. You should go I check that. It's on. It, um, but I'm like, I don't know what the hell this game is. Yeah, it's been in development for a while. They had a really open development where people were playing it and giving them feedback, and then the the end result was just a really good game. Oh, sweet. I'll yeah, check it I out. would check it out. I mean, um, I don't know exactly what it is, but I just remember hearing about the uh, open development of it. Um. Yeah, my money is going to be on Animal Crossing, FF7 Remake, and Hades. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Final Fantasy VII won it. But, I mean, I really don't care one way or another because I just play to enjoy them. I don't really give a shit if if anyone wins an award or not. They made their money. I'm sure they're proud of what they did. And then um, the Capcom release scheduled leak by Ransomware Attack was sad. Oh my god, that you didn't hear about that? I heard parts of it, but I'm not fully like clued into the story. Man, those I guess some kind of hackers or a group of hacker or a hacker hacked into Capcom's like network and started like getting all their information. He stole like a shit ton of info too. So then he told Capcom either, you know, pay this ransom or I start leaking all your shit. And of course, Capcom being like, We don't negotiate with terrorists it's like go That's ahead and leak it be. bitch so the leak was like alright fine so they leaked all the shit and man we're getting like a Power Stone remake Onimusha's coming out Super Street oh. Fighter 6 like uh it's a whole bunch of stuff like they mapped their whole like next like five years out of like game releases I wonder what Super Street Fighter 6 is about yeah they're gonna do Street Fighter 6 Super Street Fighter 6 Ultra Street Fighter 6 a whole bunch of Resident Evils, uh, Power Stone remake, like I said, um, Onimusha, which is pretty big because you know I never thought we would see those franchises again. But that's also Onimusha, yeah, pretty no. cool. The last one that came out was I think Dawn of Dreams on the PS2 or PS3. I can't, I, I legit can't. Yeah, it's been a long time. I think uh, Dragon's Dogma Two is also supposed to come out. Yeah, it's that's a Tsunos baby. Yeah. Um. Oh man, I um. Well, I wonder how. I hope mm, nothing Mega Man related, huh? Actually, no. There was Mega Man was on there too. But I wonder what. It just said like Mega Man Rock Man release. It didn't mm. say whether it was going to be X or like. What were we on? Eleven or twelve? It'd be a, it'd be twelve, right? I have no idea. Regular Mega Man. I don't know. I could care less about regular Mega Man. Well, maybe it's a Mega Man X sequel. Maybe I hope so. I mean, I at this point I want them to reboot that whole like all of it. Like the only good Mega Man storyline was Mega Man Zero. I, like I what Mega Max. Man, Mega Man Zero one through four, cool. Mega Man X has its highs and lows. It's just all over the place. Yeah, that's true. But like the good thing about the leak is it had a lot of people being excited versus being sad. So people are very very excited to see what happens in the future with Capcom. So, balls in your core, Capcom. People are hyped. Uh, that's good. It does suck that people's information got leaked, though. Yeah, big time. Of course, we don't want to see it. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely uh, it's a bummer. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they uh, they're gonna fire their IT team, <laughs> whoever that is. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Well, good luck if you work at Capcom. You got a you got a bar to meet at this point. Man. And then we got uh, um, great Black Friday deals on video games, hard drives, computer parts. Yeah, Newegg.com, IGN has a whole guide. Check those out. Yeah, like, I'm a really big fan of the way IGN does their guides. I, I have the time I use IGN for their deals, honestly. Yeah, they do a good job listing their deals out, so take yeah, advantage. They're, they're, yeah, I wish they would uh, put a tab up there for deals. That way I wouldn't have to like check it in. Yeah, yeah. I, I might take advantage of them because one of them has a, a um, what is it like a sand disc for the Switch that has 400 gigs, and that was only like uh, I think like 40 or 50 bucks, which is like That's double mine what I have currently, which is shit. I'll take that. Yeah, I wonder. Um, let me see. I'm looking through their deals right now, I and I'm trying to figure out like. Uh, Oh man, I just I would like to know when they're selling a PS5 or a freaking uh, 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 uh yeah a PS5 because I need to pick I need to pick up two PS5s, dude. Bruh, good um, luck with that one. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do that. I told people if you want it, you better be on your own. Good luck. I do hope FF7 remake comes out to uh, PC or Xbox though. It should. It was only supposed to be a time exclusive, I'm sure. Yeah, which, uh, you know, that's... I think that... When did it come out? February? It's been a long March? time, dude. That game's been out for a minute. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I hope so, because, I mean, I would like to take advantage of new hardware, because that game, FF7 Remake, was running on seven-year-old hardware. Yup. I still have I would my like... copy right here. Yeah. Have you popped it in to see how it runs? Uh... I haven't played it on my PlayStation 5. I have the digital copy, and I bought this one and just left this in the physical because okay. I'm a fucking fanboy for this game. So, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't mind downloading it and trying it out. Yeah. Um, but uh, I I am all, I am excited about the the Game Pass because I'm finally actually going to try out uh, Hollow Knight. Oh, hell. Oh, my God, it's, dude. It's on there. Fucking love Hollow Knight. That game is so Whatever. good. It's so there's good. Hollow Knight, there's the Windows Edition, and then there's the, uh, I don't know, like some other, I think, DLC version of it. Dude, get it. It's so good. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to try a whole bunch of new stuff to play on the channel. Um, But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me see what else we have here before I get distracted. <laughs> so I, I'll get distracted talking about shit. Wonder Woman coming to HBO Max. That I've I've kept up with that story. There's no fucking 4K on HBO Max. That's what you're worried about the 4K, <laughs> dude. That is such. I don't. Netflix has Hulu has it. Hulu. Dude, you are such a specs guy. I would just be happy to see that movie because it's been like it's been like five months since that movie was supposed to be out. When it, when it comes to visual quality, yeah, I'm specs, dude. Because uh, definitely like, are. I, like ah. Uh, Bro, like HBO, what the heck, man? Yeah, I just wanted to see Wonder Woman fight Cheetah, and like now that it's on HBO Max, dude, someone's Cheetah is such a terrible it. villain. Who cares? Cheetah is such a terrible as villain. Jeez, so that's a cheesy. villain for the furry community. Oh, okay, okay. Now you're just killing, killing fucking Cheetah. It's so true though. She's such a shitty villain. Oh, I have Cheetah. I have Cheetah like attacks. It's not cool like Spider Man. Because Spider-Man can stick to walls because spiders are Spider-Man's cool. Spider-Man's a good Cheetah's, guy, though. Cheetahs just run fast. Yeah, but she's a female I mean, cheetah who fights people. It's cheesy. They might have, it's DC. They, They've always had cheesy-ass characters. They might have... You know, cheetahs, they might have dangerous bacteria in their mouth when they bite you. Yeah, but you reducing her to a furry, man. You just killed Cheetah. Goddamn. Because she's not a good villain. She's a terrible fucking villain. <laughs> I mean, I'll name one fucking Wonder Woman villain who's like on the top tier of fucking villains. Exactly, they but, don't exist. Exa- no, 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 no. They do, and his name is the, that bad guy from the first one. Uh, what's his name? Uh, hate? No, not hate. Well, Hades is probably a Wonder Woman villain, actually. Those are just Hades Greek prob- gods, bro. Come on. No, that's our. That's her whole pantheon. That's it right there. Just like it any is. good Greek bad guy. Zeus. But- 
I'm pretty sure she had to fight yeah. Zeus. Fucking Zeus. Okay. I don't know. She she uh, she fought uh, people. Athena. I don't know. Yeah, the only Her mom's people probably Athena. who are like good villains in DC are all Batman, Superman, fucking the random Green Lantern, the other Lantern people and stuff. Yeah, that's Lantern it. people are cool. That's all. That's all I get. I mean, that's like they 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 need a. Uh, I I I don't know why they went with Cheetah as a bad guy. But who knows? maybe she'll be good. Bro, I, I don't see how she's gonna be good. There's not enough freaking Wonder Woman villains to like pick a decent one who's also not like also well known. Cheetah, you gotta go with Cheetah. <sighs> Cheetah's such a terrible bad guy. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> shitty ass name. Just it could have been Cheetor. Cheetor? Cheetah Cheetorina. Like Chester Cheetos. Yeah, Chester Cheetos, even better. Chester Cheetah. He's a cheetah. Like it, it, literally any anything other than just cheetah. And he's he's cheesy. Like cheetah is cheesy, <laughs> but he's Chester Cheeto who sells you Cheetos. It's a terrible villain. I hope that movie's good, but that's a terrible villain choice. <laughs> <laughs> and the next yeah. thing is the Last of Us TV series is coming to HBO. Yeah. That... Uh, I'm so whatever about this. <laughs> I do not care about this. I'm interested to see it. I'd like to see. I just don't see how. Um, honestly, it to me, I it just feels like it's going to turn into another Walking Dead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and people are going to suck Joe off so hard. That's why I want to see it. Like the best thing about Walking Dead is that Negan is in Tekken Seven. Dude, actually, I started watching The Walking Dead again. It's actually pretty entertaining until it became like a gang war between Rick and Negan. And then everyone else dies except them two. But they keep getting all their other people killed. It's very interesting. It's so, it's so dumb because, you know, they, they try to go for a little bit of realism. But then it's like, realistically, you wouldn't be fighting this many people in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. But... Like there's too many human factions in in uh, the Walking Dead. There's That's the lot. problem. And there's too many. Always going to turf wars with each other. I'm like, this is fucked up. It's they so really dumb. just need to cease fire and stop killing each other. But they're like, nope, nope. We're just gonna keep it's killing. So people. dumb. Fuck Dude, that. The first season I thought was so cool when he rides into the the horse and then there's the guy and he's in the tank and like then the, the Asian guy pops out of nowhere and then like. They get to the farm, and I'm just like, this is dumb. (laughs) I clocked out. I was like, this is... mm -mm. You had me for a good moment, and I'm just... mm -mm, I'm out. I enjoyed it for the most part. Coming back to it after, like, five years was pretty cool. I mean, I have nothing else to do. Pandemic going on, so... Yeah. Um, You could watch Digimon. I, uh, yeah, I could watch Digimon. Yeah. And last thing we got here is Anita Sarkeesian. Is that how you say your last name? Sarkeesian? Yeah, Sarkeesian or Sarkeesian? I don't know. Whatever, she doesn't matter. Um, yeah. She got, complains about boob armor on female Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. She's so she's so irrelevant at this They're point. Such a I don't even know what she, what was she famous for. All I know is that the only thing I know that she's famous for is that she got on Boogie's 2922's nerves. That's that's all I really know about her. Uh, she had that whole thing where she was talking about like females in video games and she like cherry picked a whole bunch of shitty examples of how men or the industry is like not in tune with female empowerment and we do like fucked up interpretations of like female characters and shit and I'm like okay whatever. You might have a point, but the points that she uses are always fucking trash. Like, this take right here, like, who the fuck cares about boob armor on, like, a Boba Fett lookalike? No one cares. I don't fucking care. Yeah, I'm, tr- I'm trying to figure out. Uh, what, 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 what is she famous for? She's famous for critiquing video games in a feminist lens. That's the best way I can say it. Cause like I'm on, I'm at her website and it says transforming culture now. I'm a creator on a mission, and then followed by work with me. Yeah, her mission is work with me. 
pretty much bullshit because it's, it's, just, it's just like the SJWs versus the anti-SJW. So she says something stupid, then they retort with something even more stupid and like, why the fuck do you hate men? Why do you do this? Blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, shut up. Uh, well, on her website, it just says that she's a consultant, so. I'm sure she does a bang up job consulting. I'm sure she's very good at that. All right. Well, let's say she's got a book. Um, nine tips for deciding better characters in video games. Uh, yeah, and uh, history versus women that define lives that they don't want you to know. <laughs> it's a oh backhanded God. ass title. Yeah, you know? basically like boils down to her having some shitty takes, and then every time she has a shitty take. It results in like twenty what minute that, videos though? on YouTube. Listen to the title again: "History versus Women: The Defiant Lives That They Don't Want You to Know." The it sounds like the one percent of women? strong females in history that were never revealed or aren't publicized heavily. Okay, okay, not publicized heavily. I get that, but not wanting you to know. That sounds dumb. I mean, if we're going to go into the conspiracy theory route, sure. Maybe she's part of QAnon. We don't know. She's the feminist QAnon. Like, I I just, I uh, I don't like that title at all. They they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know about these strong women. Of course. They're so strong, so powerful. They lifted 230 pounds with one pinky finger. Yeah, we hate we hate strong women in video games. Laura Croft, Jill Valentine, Bayonetta, Samus. Yeah, fuck those characters. We don't play those games. Especially not me. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, stuff on YouTube. Um, and uh, she... Mm, mm, seven years ago. Yeah. Damn, what the hell? 2000. Oh, she has a YouTube channel, Feminist Frequency Radio. Yeah. Or, or, or no, Feminist Frequency. Hold up. 2006. Anytime that she said something, like people would just dogpile on her. It was crazy. So here's the thing. Okay, look. Oh yeah, it was um Gamergate, dude. Yeah, Gamergate. That whole thing. I don't. I don't even know much about that. How the fuck it's, did that's... you not hear about Gamergate? It was like all. I mean, I heard about it, but it's so past me. I don't fully understand it. And okay. All right, this is what we need. This is great, though. I, just by looking at our YouTube channel, I can tell what's going on here. 220,000 subscribers. Now, Rich, mm. what is the magical number that you want your subscriber to viewer ratio? Shit, I don't know. I don't worry about 10%. 10%. Okay. Which means that at 220,000 subscribers, her video should be getting 20,000. 2,000. Huh? 20,000 views. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Her most recent... Her videos get an average of what looks like between 1 and 10,000 views. Yeah, sounds about right. No, it's that's not good. No, it's not good, but that's what <laughs> sounds like par for the course with her. Cause oh, a, this is terrible. A lot of those people just hate watching the video. They're not really trying to learn anything new they're not trying to broaden their horizons or like put their get her perspective they just want to watch it and tear her apart yeah let me uh, look at the comments of this i think she comments are turned off yeah i'm pretty sure she disabled them shits but like my point being is that okay this youtube channel is dead dude Mm -hmm. this youtube channel is is so dead but if you look at her patreon she's making three thousand dollars a month which that is gets divided, crazy which i'm assuming gets divided among these three people yeah this is this is a dead ass youtube channel see that's what you need to do with these controversial people is literally just stop watching their shit and stop talking about them oh, they'll, they'll kill themselves that's free i mean, I mean free content we should not have said that they will destroy their own channels yeah i mean i think it's a good thing to have females give their perspective on characters and whatnot in video games i would love to see it i'd love to see it done in a very good way objectively good well, way not if you just want shitty a good way about oh hitman incentivizes you to kill hookers by blah 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 and that it really doesn't but 
That's what I want to see. I want to see like a real, actual person dissect okay, this kind of you, stuff. If you want a really good way, I recommend checking out these people. Uh, what's Good Games? Have you heard of them? Uh, I think the name is similar. Okay, so what's good game? Uh, the main host is uh, Andrea Renee. She did a whole bunch of videos. You could probably catch her like when we were growing up, and probably a whole bunch of E three videos back then. She just kind of used to host the stuff before she kind of did her own thing. She kind of came up a little bit with kind of funny in terms. That's kind of what put her name a little bit out there. Mm-hmm. Her and her co host are really, really, really good. It's an all female team. They're they're all fantastic. See, that will watch that. Yeah, and I I really recommend checking them out. Uh, they do really good podcasts. They it's very well put together, and um, they all have uh, pretty good personalities. What's what uh, all all that stuff? Yeah, like, most of the time I'll just check out like Alana Pierce and call it. Alana a Pierce is cool too. Yeah, she's really smart. Yeah, she's, she's really super smart. chill. So I always dig her vibe. Yeah, I mean, she was just on there on What's Good Games. Looks like a week ago. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, like check out what's good games. They're they're cool. Fuck Anita. What's her name? <laughs> her, name is her YouTube channel's dead. I'm sure she. If you're you if you have two hundred twenty thousand subscribers and you're getting almost one percent of your viewers, that's you're just you're just not doing a good job. Yeah, she's just it's just horrible take after horrible take. It's like she lives in a whole different separate reality. Yeah. From everyone else's because i could literally go around playing the black card and being like everything is against black people every day of my life and i everything really is against black people i would literally every have day like, of your life the worst fucking takes ever and people like wow that guy's a real piece of shit so yeah. that's kind of how it comes off with her yeah no it's just mm, it seems like she just from what i heard with boogie it just seems like she kind of goes out after people that's that's yeah i mean you know, that's never good I can't believe that she would honestly believe half of the shit that she says. I think it was more just to like cause controversy and get money, become like a figurehead. I can't really see someone being that deep into the rabbit hole and not being self aware. Yeah, no, I was actually listening to a podcast about that. I'll mention it afterwards because it's somewhat political. But anyway, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know when we're going to go live again. I'm assuming a week after I get the Xbox, though, because I want a week to check all that stuff out. Yeah, yeah, a week, two weeks, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, but um, I, as far as for me, I'm still working on the Milo video that's been like three months in the when the works. Um, I straight up. Uh, oh shit. Oh. Uh, hello. Uh, Rich, am I still there? Yeah, you're here now. Okay, yeah, I, my Discord just started updating. There you go. Yeah, it looks like my... Sorry, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, good. my Discord started updating. Um, but continue. So, uh, yeah, so that me love it has been taking so long. Dude, I made like th- four, three or four different intros for that and like erased, erased them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a I know, perfectionist. But, uh, well, not even that. It's just like... It's more of like, what am I doing here? <laughs> Man. Like, what's the point of this video? Oh my! But God. I, I got, I got a, I got a good, uh, I got a, uh, I got a good, like, what's it called direction. Uh, as far as some other uh, videos that I want to do after that one's over, but um, yep, gonna be doing that. I stream on my channel every Sunday around noon. Um, come hang out with me. Usually stream some kind of multiplayer game. Played Overwatch last week. Played Apex the week before. Played DOA the week before. So mm-hmm. we'll see what happens. I'll what probably be doing about the same. Um, I've gotten harassed to get back to making YouTube videos to make people oh. laugh. I will do my best. Uh, I'll definitely try to stream like Demon Souls this week. So you guys can watch me fail on my channel. I stream kind of whenever I want. So hopefully you'll catch it or watch the VOD. There you go. Okay. And dude... I hope my Discord uh, updated. (laughs) We'll catch y'all later. All right, YouTube. You guys be cool. Peace and love.